things are about to get very interesting if you're after an affordable, small electric car with decent range. Meet the Aura Cat. It's made by a company you've probably never heard of, but let us explain why you shouldn't switch off just yet. And subscribe to Auto Express for more brand new car videos like this. Right, here it is everybody, the Aura Cat. Now straight away, this is one unusual looking small EV hatchback, isn't it? You've got all sorts of different design cues. So you've got a bit of Porsche 911 in the front end, a little bit of Mini in the silhouette. And yeah, it's certainly distinctive, isn't it? The rear end is pretty unusual too. There are no traditional light clusters, and instead the car uses a thin tail light strip embedded into the rear window, with the indicators and reverse lights integrated into the rear bumper. But what is the Aura Cat? Well, it's an EV hatchback that's going to be priced around the same as a Renault Zoe and the Vauxhall Corsa E, but the size of the car is much closer to something like the VW ID3. And this is China's take on the small compact electric car, and it's going to be coming to the UK to conquer the market. Well, that's the plan anyway. Aura is owned by Great Wall, China's largest producer of SUVs and pickup trucks. But of course, the Aura Cat is very different. At £25,000, Aura is pitching the Cat as an electric people's car, and it will be available to order in the UK from December this year. But the question is, should you be interested? So a lot of that is going to depend on how the Aura Cat performs out on the road. Now, here's the interesting bit. So a lot of small EVs like this, they use a rear drive setup with a single electric motor on the rear axle. But the Aura Cat is a little bit different and it's a little bit more like a traditional combustion engine hatchback. So it drives the front wheels with a single electric motor producing around 170 bhp, which is a fair amount. But more important for an electric car like this is the torque figure. So that's 250 newton meters which should make this feel quite zippy for a small hatchback like this. That single motor propels the cat from 0 to 62 miles an hour in 8.5 seconds. So it's not exactly rapid, but that's plenty of performance for a small hatchback. But Aura is promising more cat models in the future, which could offer more performance and more range. Speaking of which, the cat can be optioned with either a 48 or 63 kilowatt hour battery. The smaller option gives 209 miles of range, but range jumps to 261 miles with the bigger battery. That's 16 miles more than the Renault Zoe. But whichever option you go for, the batteries are mounted under the floor of the car because this car rides on a bespoke EV architecture. But what does that mean for boot space? Well, if we take a look here, you've got quite a high load lip and even though the batteries aren't eating into the boot space, the capacity is only 228 litres, which isn't great. That's a huge 157 litres smaller than the ID3. But the Aura Cat does at least offer 80 kilowatt charging, with a 10 to 80% top up taking around 40 minutes. 11 kilowatt three phase AC charging is also standard, and Aura offers an eight year battery warranty with the Cat. And there's also going to be a hot version. Now, when I say hot version, this is the Aura Cat GT. And under the skin, it's identical to the standard Aura Cat with the same motor and the same power output and the same battery capacity as well. But the GT pack brings a few interesting styling details that make this a sort of mini EV hot hatch, don't they? So you've got this aggressive rear spoiler, you've got this carbon fiber effect diffuser, and you've got these red accents everywhere. And coming around to the side of the car, you've got these 80 inch wheels with the red accents as well and generally yeah this car has a much sportier look than the standard Aura Cat despite being mechanically the same and up front yeah it's much more aggressive you've got a deeper front bumper with the red accents as well and fake carbon fiber everywhere it's not going to be for everybody but it is an option at least but it's inside where I have to say the Aura Cat is really impressive. So the cabin itself, it's not super sculptural. There's not a whole lot of design flair, but the quality is actually really impressive for the price of this car and for the class it's in, because you've got a nice Alcantara finish on the dashboard. You've got this metal effect trim and lower down, I have to say the plastics are a little bit harder, not quite as sturdy as up the top of the dash, but generally, yeah, really nice ambience in here. And you've got details like quilted, effect trim on the door cars and 
Yeah, really nice place to sit. And obviously taking center stage in the cabin are these two screens. So you've got one for the driver, which is a digital gauge cluster, 10.25 inches, really crisp, clear graphics. And then you've got the main infotainment screen here, which is another 10.25 inch screen, super responsive. The graphics are really clear and crisp. Some of the icons are a little bit small, a little bit difficult to read on the move, but yeah, top marks for the infotainment. You've got great tech in there. You've got wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay as well. And you've also got in this car a wireless smartphone charging pad. So you stick your phone there, nice place for it, it'll charge. And the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto means you never have to plug in, which is great. The cat is also fitted with a number of safety assists, such as autonomous parking, lane keep assist, and a 360 degree camera. The car can also recognize its driver through facial recognition and adjust things like the driving position to suit. And it's nice back here as well. As you can see, I've got a huge amount of leg room, plenty of knee room, and often with EVs, you find that when the battery is mounted in the floor of the car, the floor of the car is raised, and that means that, yeah, you've got a big gap between your thighs and the seats. But in this car, yeah, it's, it's all right. The seats are nice and soft. You've got this nice Alcantara finish on them as well. Headroom's nice and good. I'm six foot tall, so yeah, really positive back here as well. So things are looking pretty good for the Aura Cat, but would you take one over the Volkswagen ID3? Let us know in the comments and thanks very much for watching.